Hello guys, my name is Michael and welcome to a new GTK tutorial. In this uh, tutorial we are going to talk a little bit about the code blocks and GTK4 and a way to make code blocks to work with GTK4. As you already know, at this point uh, we were installing GTK4 in our home folder. So if I'm going now into that folder, right here, wait a second, USR and here basically we put all that information which we needed together with the GTK4 so that we can work with it. Now, the next thing which uh, we are probably going to need it will be to point our code blocks to GTK4. So, if you thought that the uh, importance of those libraries which we had to install in the GTK4 playlist wasn't that uh, important, now you will see why and how. So the first thing which I'm going to do, I'm going to run the code blocks for the first time. As you can see, it is uh, detecting the, the compiler. And after that, we are almost done. Now the next thing which I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new project, console application, C, next, and I'm going to say uh, GTK4 demo. And I'm going to put it inside my templates so right here here I want to have it next finished okay at this point the first thing which I, I need to do I'm, get, I'm going to set my environment to change the X terminal to the uh, genome terminal let me compile it and run it for a second and as you can see works fine now the next thing I'm going to um, I'm going to copy this code right here which is uh, very important for us so that we have something with uh, we can work with. Now I'm going to close this one and this one for a second. So what we have here, we have the main function where basically we create an application, we connect the activate signal to it. In the activate callback, we are basically creating a window, uh, we're setting its default size to 200 and then a button, click the button and we are calling the GTK window set child function, which is a new GTK4 function. Um, to put the button inside the window and after that we are good to go. Now, uh, I, I need the logs right here because we need to see what happens. I'm going to compile it and run it for the first time and says error GTK uh, no such file directory. Well, because uh, we were installing the GTK4 in our home folder or at least until the package manager or the software package manager or your distribution we will um, they, they will release uh, GTK4 uh, for, for you. We are going to set our code blocks in other way. That being said, you have to go to compiler. The next thing which you need, you go to the search direct directory because the, here is the place where basically happens uh, all those things which are important. So the first thing first, you click on compiler, you go to add, and then you just point your um, uh, you just point it to the, the uh, right one which is GTK4 right here you see so I'm going to click open okay okay and then very important I'm going to click on rebuild yes and now it says uh, glib uh, wasn't found so again compiler setting compiler search directory on the compiler side we go here and then right after that we go to home user include glib right here and click open okay okay rebuild and now we have the glib config glib config it is found not in the include folder but in the library folder so we go again search directory compiler add and then we point it to our home user lib right here inside and here it is uh, glib right here and now we have the another included so we need to select it as well and here as you can see it is the glib config open okay okay rebuild yes and now says the Cairo it's not found you see they are uh, uh, connecting together now we need a Cairo because we did install it we go again and we point our um, search directory folder to the Cairo right here so we have home uh, your name user include Cairo as you can see okay rebuild 
The next thing says Pango. We need Pango. So we'll let get it. Compiler, because we have it. Add, point to the home user, include Pango right here. Open, OK, OK, rebuild. And then the next thing, it is um, HP, which is the hard bus. You remember in the GTK playlist, GTK4 playlist, we had to install it as well. Well, now you see again why, because we need it. So again, your, your name, USR, include, and then hard bus right here. Click on it, open, OK, OK, rebuild. And now we need the GTK Pixbuff. The same story, we have it because we did compile it, search directory, add, and then your name, user, include GDK box. Pixbuff right here. Again, the next thing we need a graphene, graphene, you know, we already installed it as well, so we go and we point our search directory to the graphene right here 1.0 include what okay compile it and run it and now says graphene config well all those config files basically they are found inside uh, you go again to search directory add and this time you will need to go uh, again not in the uh, user includes but in the library inside because the graphene is uh, it is right here it's include folder with the config file so at this point <coughs> we have um, the graphene let me comp uh, uh, rebuild it again and as you can see we are done with our header files files which means it's good because at this point uh, we only need to to uh, uh, our libraries so for this the next thing which we need we basically uh, need to set the linker but before we do that uh, let us uh, um, fix those um, undefined reference to GTK application new as you can say so for this we we were to the search directories right here now we go to the linker settings and inside the linker settings the first thing which we need we need to add and we need to search inside the library right here the GTK for which is right here you see right here select it open okay okay reboiled and now it is says g type check instance you see we have another one because this one it is in inside the uh, g object so compiler linker add now we need a g object T uh, not not in the temp sorry in the user uh, now we need a lib object right here you see li of li lib g object you select it okay okay rebuild and the next thing which it says it says g application run g application is a gio it's in it is inside the gio so we go again to linker add home user libraries right here and we need a gi Oh, GI oh, right here select it okay okay and now at this point the next thing which we need we need the uh, the pango uh, which is the font very important that we understand the difference uh, you will see linker add and you point it to your home user library and then you scroll down to right here the uh, lib pango ft2 not not one not uh, the first one, the other two, that with the two. Okay, now you press on OK and rebuild. And now the next thing, as you can see, font on uh, Pango font map family, which means now we need the Pango, only the Pango. So we go now to again to link her, add, and then home user, uh, USR, sorry. And then we, f we need Pango right here. You see, lib Pango minus 1.0. Okay, okay, okay. And now reboot. And as you can see, the next thing which is asking uh, uh, ourselves it is uh, that we need to point 
um, to the uh, glib because this is the last one important compiler uh, you better uh, check here because says g bookma file get with the date time whatever uh, this is a, a function which is uh, belongs to the g library so user usr library again and then you need to uh, to point it right here jib uh, you see lib uh, lib g lib and so on select it okay again and as you can see it is compiling fine but there is one problem and this problem you better uh, pay attention what I'm doing so I'm going to build and run the program and you will see something it says error while rolling share libraries and so on it cannot find it even if we provide everything so maybe or probably you will say uh, I need to go to compiler search directory library add which is not bad you will have to do this this thing as uh, also so the first one will be the USR li li lib the second one would it will be the USR lib and then we point it to uh, this one and now if we build a run you will see nothing but when it's running you'll see still the same story so basically the next thing which you'll probably try it is that you will want to go to link a setting add and then uh, search it in uh, um, search it right here so home user lib uh, right here and as you can see it is not here of course it is here but it is the place it is not the right one so if you choose right down here to all files then if you scroll down you see it is right here so I'm going to select it okay okay rebuild and now you will see that it is still not working why is not working well because somehow code blocks doesn't see the relative paths which is um, uh, from the um, uh, global settings com uh, compiler settings I don't know why so I'm going to remove this one because we don't need it but instead guys what you are going to uh, you are need to do uh, every time when you create a new project uh, let me let me s uh, uh, print the, the manager again you see so management every time when you yeah, when you create a new project and you start out to write your code before you compile it you need all the time to to right click on your project right here in the main case gtk4 demo and then go to build options and here it is very important for you you need the linker settings to point it right to the uh, that place where we tried before and it didn't work so like uh, linux gnu and now select all files right down in the right corner all files scroll down search the one it is right here open you see keep this as relative path this is the the thing which it didn't work in the global one so yes okay now that uh, we pointed to the right one we need a search directory also but only for the linker and not for the compiler because everything works fine uh, let me see if um, if we don't do those changes I'm going to build and run it now after and you see it is still not working so which means it doesn't see that relative paths even if we show the right one no so we go to search directory linker add and here we are going to go to our home user lib it is the first one yes you see it needs that relative path for the lib and of course it needs the relative path for the uh, inside the lib where basically it is the x86 uh, 64 linux gnu okay so now it says again it says yes okay and at this point when you click on okay and rebuild after that if you click on build and run well guys uh, you have your first gtk uh, application uh, and you brought in a work fine now let me show you just to be sure that you understand i'm going to close the project yes so i'm going to create a new project just to be sure that you understand so basically at this point uh, console application c next uh, whatever next finish okay here inside we are going to put the 
our program, our demo program copy, and you will see that uh, it's building and uh, running with no problems, but it is saying again the same story because it doesn't see. So you go again for your, uh, on your build project, like in my case, whatever, uh, right click on it, build options, and then you go to link, uh, add, and you go to your home user libraries, inside libraries, and then you print all the files. You go to uh, uh, GTK4, you point it, you see, we need to set this relative pad, and of course, inside the search directory, we need those two um, to get fixed. So, your user, uh, and then USR library, and you point now, the first one will be the library. Uh, yes. Uh, okay, uh, I already selected, no problem because I'm going to to match them. So now we need the, this one. Yes, okay. I'm going to move it at the top with the right uh, up arrow. Okay, and now after I'm going to rebuild it, when I hit the build and run, you see our application works fine. I hope you understand. You will need to do it uh, two, three times and then you will see that everything works fine and happy GTK for coding guys. That being said, thank you guys for watching. If you like it, please subscribe, share with your friends and neighbors, and until next time, see you guys.